Hi, welcome back to the Praxis Test Prep course. My name is Tasha. I am a former high school biology teacher, and today I'm going to walk you through some questions for the Praxis exam 5236. That's biology content. These questions specifically focus on ecology, organisms, and their environment. Okay, let's get started. Hey, question one. Many species of venomous bees, ants, and wasps are black and yellow. This is an example of what? Our little reminder here that we're talking about venomous species here. So the first one is Batesian mim mimicry. That is when you have a harmless species that are mimicking species that are not harmless, that are either poisonous or they are venomous in some sort. So that's we're not seeing that here. Malarian mimicry is where you have this exact scenario. So you have a dangerous species mimicking each other as kind of a sign or a warning. So this example is going to be malarian mimicry. So that is our correct answer is B, but we can look at the other two as well. So conscious mimicry is not something that occurs. And camouflage, this isn't really, we're not, they're not camouflaging in their environment. So that's not correct. So our answer is going to be B. Question two, how may climate change impact the transmission of malaria? So just a reminder that malaria is spread through mosquitoes. So those spores grow in those mosquitoes and then they um, bite you and then that's how malaria will spread. So mosquito life cycle, they are dependent on a few things. So it's dependent on temperature, specifically for those spores to actually grow and rainfall or water source to breed. So if you have more rainfall or water source, you're going to have more breeding. And that temperature, the increase in the temperature is actually going to increase the spores. So let's read our answers. So decreased temperature, rainfall, and humidity would increase the lifespan of mosquitoes and the development of the parasites. That's not true. Increased temperature and rainfall and humidity would decrease the lifespan of the mosquitoes that spread malaria, just as we talked about that also will, won't be true. C, increased temperature, rainfall, and humidity would increase the lifespan of mosquitoes and the development of the parasites in mosquitoes. So this is what we see is happening here. So C is going to be our correct answer. Increased temperature, rainfall, and humidity would prevent the development of parasites in mosquitoes. We don't see that. So D is also incorrect. And we are left with our answer C. Okay, question three. On the Big Island of Hawaii, many ecosystem communities experience a disturbance in the form of a volcanic eruption where no vegetation is left after the event. Which of the following terms describe the type of succession that would take place after such a disturbance? So the first one, climax succession. This doesn't actually occur. So climax, there's no such thing as climax succession succession there is such a thing as climax community where the best suited species would live in that habitat until a disturbance were to happen so if they ask about a climax community that's what that would be primary succession this is going to be where you have barren rock this is going to be our answer so we have barren rock no other species are living there and we have that first initial species are infiltrating that tertiary succession there's no such thing as that and secondary succession that is after you have some type of disturbance where a species was living there and then another species takes over that while that species is there so it's not barren so our answer is going to be b primary succession four in ecology, what term is used to describe all living organisms in an area? So let's talk about each of these definitions. So the definition of an ecosystem is going to be where you have the interactions of different species in an area, but also with that physical environment. So you have interacting organisms, and they are interacting with that physical environment. So the ecosystem includes all of that, so that's not really what we're looking for here. The population is only specifically one species in an area. So that's not really what we're looking for here. This would be all living organisms, populations, only one species. Community, on the other hand, is going to be all species living in that area. So community is going to be our correct answer. 
That is C is our correct answer. But just to go over the last definition, so biosphere, that includes anything where living creatures are existing, and that includes the atmosphere. So any part of the earth where living creatures are, that is considered the biosphere. So our answer is going to be C, community. I hope that was helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, head over to study.com to check out our other practice problems. As a study.com member, you get full access to hundreds of practice problems like the ones I just walked you through, as well as targeted instruction for some topics you might still be struggling with, along with some test-taking strategies to help you maximize your score on test day. Finally, we want to hear from you. Please like and subscribe if today's video is helpful. In the comments down below, please let us know if there's any topics you'd like us to cover next. Good luck and happy studying!